had your mind racing with thoughts, so many thoughts, yet there is no clarity, no peace in them all? Are you trying to renew your mind, but there is hurt, pain, offense, fear, worried thoughts, all shouting at you, demanding to be heard? You think 60,000 thoughts per day, many of them unconscious and negative toward yourself, your husband, and your children. Your thoughts are driving your life and determining how you feel and how you respond as a parent. You cannot set those thoughts and the words you speak on auto cruise or you will end up going where you don't wanna be. I'm Kimberly Mutar, and in this episode of the Renewed Mama podcast, I want to help you have mental ease or peace, calmness, and the assurance that it will all turn out right no matter what you are going through right now. I want to help you to not be double-minded, but rather steady firmly planted on God's promises. So let's talk about how you can get back to a place of mental ease and stay there. Your life, mama, is the fruit of what is going on inside. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So how healthy is your mental ease? Do you have mental peace or is your mind running wild? I was talking with a sweet lady the other week. She had taken a financial hit and cried it out for 10 minutes. Then she stopped and said, wait a second. God has this all under control. He will take care of us. I will trust him. Sometimes we have to give it a good cry for about 10 or 15 minutes And then we pick ourselves up and say, all right, discouraged, downcast soul, get up. At church, a man shared how the phrase, it's written in the book, helps him. Every time something comes up that throws him off course or frustrates him or doesn't go as he has planned, he says, it's okay. God knows about this. It's written in the book. It doesn't take God by surprise. He'll take care of this for me. It's written in the book. How's that for helping you have mental ease? So what can you do to cultivate mental ease or mental peace? Go away to a quiet place and journal all of your thoughts and emotions. Do a brain dump. Use the What's in Your Word Bank guide to help you. The link is in the show notes. Ask yourself these questions. What makes you angry, afraid, doubtful? What are you saying that is demeaning to yourself? Where are you confused or feeling lost? Just write it all down. Now it's out on paper. You can even say it out loud. It helps your brain to say it out loud as if you are releasing the weight of it from your shoulders, as if you don't have to hold on to it any longer. That's relief and mental ease, isn't it? Because you weren't meant to hold all of those hurts and fears and pains and questions inside. Look over your brain dump. Is this a weakening thought or an empowering thought? Does this thought steal, kill, or destroy? Are these words stealing, killing, or destroying from your life? Is this a mental prison that you have walked into on your own accord? What new lens do you need to look through to see this more clearly? What is the truth here? What can you control? Don't argue with what you can control. You need to release that to God. All of those things that you can't control. Just release that to Him. Now, in a quiet place, I invite you to go to Jesus with all of the answers to these questions. 
I invite you to make an exchange with the Lord. Tell him, I release this fear, this worry, this frustration, this overwhelm, this debt, this struggle to you, Jesus. Tell him you are bigger than the debt, the overwhelm, the struggle, and the questions of how will this all turn out? The question of where are you, God? I just release that. You are bigger than that. Help me, Father God, to see the truth in this. What do you say about this? What is your heart for me and for my family in this? Resist the urge to say or to believe that once this is all resolved, once it's all settled and it's all over, it'll be better. I'll be at peace again. Mama, you and I need to find the peace in the middle of it all. That mental ease needs to be rock solid, even when things are uncertain or out of our control. Ask him to forgive you for making agreement with fear, with doubt, with worry, with overwhelm, frustration. If your answer is delayed, remember that he is doing something. Remember Daniel who was in mourning for three entire weeks. He didn't eat any tasty food or meat or wine for three weeks as he waited for an answer for the vision he had. And when the angel appeared to him, he said, Do not be afraid, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart on understanding this and on humbling yourself before your God, your words were heard. And I have come in response to your words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia was withstanding me or standing opposite or detaining me for 21 days until Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. That's Daniel 10, 10 to 13. God's answer is there on the day, on the moment that you make the request. So hold on tight if you are waiting for that answer to come to pass. Isaiah 65, 24 says, It will also come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are still speaking, I will hear. Psalm 118, 21 says, I will give thanks to you for you have answered me and you have become my salvation. Psalm 38, 15 says, For I hope in you, O Lord, you will answer O lord my god he brings the answer at your first word mama so stay in faith until you see it fully come to pass decide what you will think what you will speak and believe regardless of the outcome what if it doesn't work out the way you want what if it works out better than you thought you align your thoughts, your words, and your beliefs with God's word and what he says, not to what the circumstances or the outcome is. God's word is the truth to which you peg your thoughts, the words you speak, and your belief. It's not the other way around where you let your circumstances or the outcome determine what you believe about God. I want to hear from you, Mama. Would you share a situation where you saw God work and how you kept your mind renewed? How did you keep your mental ease? There is a place on the main page of Speak Life Badges where you can record a message. Share your story there and then send it to me. I'll share your story of mental ease on the podcast so that you can encourage all of the mamas listening. I bless you, Mama, with mental ease, with mental peace. The truth is your understanding is incomplete now, but one day you will fully understand. Whatever you are going through, you will come out of this. For by a powerful hand, the Lord brought you out from this place. 
That's Exodus 13, 3. He said that to the Israelites when they went out from Egypt from the house of slavery. If you need help, Mama, gaining that mental ease, that steady peace, if you had a hard time answering the questions I shared in the episode, I encourage you to go to Renewed Mama Coaching right now and book coaching chats with me. It's time to say goodbye to the mental clutter and the struggle and to exchange it for peace in what you think and what you say again and again in your mind. Victory is waiting for you. Go to RenewedMamaCoaching.com now. Until next week, take care, Mama. Words have a powerful influence. It doesn't matter whether they are spoken, written in a text, emailed, memed, heard in a song, or seen on TV. Words can portray life, encouragement, hope, or lies, such as, you'll never be good enough, you'll never be successful, it's too hard, why even try? I just can't get it like all the smart kids in class. Speak Life Badges helps you change the messages that your children hear and believe. They need to hear your words of life. They need to hear your words that encourage them in who they are as a person and who they can grow to become. Speak Life Badges are sticker award badges with an I am message so that your child owns and believes the truth spoken over them. And while children like being recognized with awards, the lasting influence are the words you speak over your child as you award them with the badge. Sometimes we just don't know how to speak life. Sometimes in frustration we react and say the wrong thing. Speak Life Badges gives you scripts, the words for you to say to your child or student as you award each badge. So that when your child is out on the playground or working through a hard math problem or standing in front of a mirror or comparing themselves to another classmate, when they are faced with truth or the lie about who they are as a person, now the lie won't have any strength or merit. Because they, through you, with the help of Speak Life Badges, have been told that I am strong, I am smart, I can do the hard stuff, I work with excellence, I don't give up, I keep trying, I am teachable. Speak Life Badges is changing mindsets and breaking lies in the hearts of children. Children like Charlotte, who was so proud to wear her I Am A Great Reader badge because no one else had made her feel so happy about her reading before. Or Colton, who was willing to face the hard schoolwork and try again and again until he got it because he believed the words that were written on his Speak Life badge, I am a champion. Now you can use your words intentionally to speak life over your children using Speak Life Badges. Austin the Hedgehog is bringing mailbox fun to your kids. Your children ages 3 to 13 can receive mailbox surprises like activity postcards, happy birthday cards, stickers, crafts, recipe cards, coloring pages, puzzles, special gifts like the I Am Loved journal, a tumbler, Austin's matching happy birthday toque, and so much more from Austin the Hedgehog. Straight to your mailbox with their own name on it each month. All teaching life lessons such as helping, using time wisely, how to monitor their own screen time, how to choose the right friends. Being strong means more than just muscles. How to have self-control and their words are like seeds that will grow into fruit in their life. It is oh so good from Austin the Hedgehog. Two subscription levels are available. Register your children today at austinskidsclub.com.